Um, and DSM, who had no defense members whatsoever on to see, are now going to be forced to initially retake. And there is a long play happening through a main, so there was an opportunity maybe to get around the backside of this play, but this is a post plant that's going to be faceted in two different directions. Hayes will find the first blood, though, plus some extra damage, so you're going to have to look at Screwface. The frag is unbelievably well placed. Gravity well in for Bang, but by himself, really can't do too much. Screwface wants to still challenge forward. Leviathan there for the trade. And it will be down to what these players on the deep side of Seelong can actually do here to try to hold off this plant. Yeah, obviously a snake bite already being thrown up there, lined up. And it will fall over towards the spike. Slowing down TSM's chance on the fuse. Now they will do it, but now Ainge has the grab well to further disrupt this defusal process. They didn't even get a half play before that oh. thing popped in. Ainge able to get the hat trick there. At TSM should have some awareness that there is going to be a play coming this direction, and Wardell does at least trade back the first blood. Takes a while, but we are 4v4, and now the long play from behind might actually find some Ooh. success. Yeah, Nick Goodman Harmon's watching out for it, but he's getting tagged up a little bit, and while he has spotted one of those players, he's definitely still under a lot of danger right now. If they swing him correctly, he could go down. In the meantime, Sub Rosa gets a couple of kills elsewhere on the map with the Sheriff, and now this is a lot of trouble for Dark Zero. They don't expect the second. Nobody saw Bang from behind. Bang's gonna walk up behind this play. He finds one, but not the second. Harmon keeps the play alive. One shock dart left, 1v2. Over the top goes the shock dart. Does not fully convert, and Sub Rosa takes away the angle. Three kills for Sabrosa in the round. And it's been, honestly, in nature, just the perfect counter, it feels like, at times. So Dark mm -hmm. Zero will be in a position to go into full ARs. The same will be yep. said, plus the operator for TSM. And they're kind of using Viper as you would use a Sentinel, where you can kind of keep that constant presence on the inside of the map with this wall. Try to pick up on anyone being aggressive, try to, you know, be that presence. And this time he gets a big kick on the Sub Rosa. Meantime, they're looking to take some control of Garage. Leviathan trying to slow them down there with the Hunter's Fury, and it will indeed get one to even it back up into a 4 on 4. And now Hayes has spotted a couple players out here in grass position outside of Garage. So now he knows who he's up mm. against, but he stays around and gets caught by Screwface, and he'll be able to get regrowth here by his teammate. So now a big 4 on 3 for Dark Zero. They've been able to, you know, really make this defense stress now on where they should be rotating, what they should be looking out for, and they definitely left. have a great chance to even up the scoreline here. We have a very scrappy start to this game. Very much so. But Dark Zero, they actually weren't able to get Screwface up to full. Looks like Kohler actually de-channeled the regrow. Bang, up top. Not going to get rid of the platform. Does throw out the frag to try to slow things down, but... That's not really make too much of a difference as there's left. going to be enough time for the plant, no problem. Kohler in the backside of the site going to hold on. Wardell, first one forward. Good information to read on one player keeping out towards C Long. Uh, Shark Dart doesn't quite hit where I believe Leviathan wanted to put it. Wardell sees a shoulder, not going to convert. Kohler coming out, help from the flash, able to find one. Leviathan responds in time. 1v3 situation now, but the knife comes out, the flash comes out, Shark Dart's come out, Leviathan has to get up the angle and. I don't know how you repossess this. You have to win an incredible fight, and well, wait a second. He absolutely does almost a chance on to another. Tries to sneak away with the operator, but Harmon Piper in a million years think to check this. Trailblazer Probably comes not. out. Sabrosa goes to check the corner, doesn't see anything, but he knows for a fact that there's going to be a good point of contact here if he just holds his time and plays patiently. The question will be whether or not Sabrosa gets a kill or not. That's probably going to happen, but it's like, can he get away? It's going to be yeah. a bigger question. I mean, he does have some help with the turret up top on the B slot, and he has Wardell there as well with the rifle to try to help him get out. Enough. He gets his kill. Has to be careful, but looks like he's going to be able to get away here. Now the B attack's coming in, but that's a great job from Bang to kind of slow down that drone from getting any intel. Knife also concluded very quickly on, but still Screwface opening pick with the Operator, bold to say the least, finds the kill. Sabrosa trapped up in Nano Swarms, but still fights his way through a couple. How about a third and a fourth in the round? Sabrosa unstoppable. What did this man have for lunch today? I don't know, but I want to order it. Yeah, me too. I'm kind of hungry, and he's also playing really well, so it's kind of a win-win. Ah, uh, opening aggression coming through for both teams once more. TSM in a little bit of a difficult position. The Seekers come out. The Hunter's Fury is also being spent. Early point of contact. Dark Zero able to find one. But is it going to be enough? The Nullify also came through, but Screwface is down. Hayes trying to control this space. Wants the shoulder peek, and why not? Finds one color in return. A lot more flexibility to play still. A solid map control style of attack. Well, Ordell quickly with the blades moving forward. Recon Bolt frees him up. Help is here. Oh, but the first blades do miss. Now it turns on to Sabrosa. Okay, well, I mean... You pick your poison here. Do you want Wardell's blades? Or you just want Sabrosa, period. He finds the double. 
And Hayes has actually seen information on Kohler. Point of contact comes through, no problem. Ordell, by more traditional means, finds one, but Harmon to start making this a bit more punishing. It would be a 1v5 if he were to do it, and he's still got a lot of time to play with, to be fair. Doesn't have Spike, though. I don't think the defense has eyes on it yet, though, either. At least they've been able to gather up together here. They haven't committed any more numbers to swinging on them, and so they can now play off one another, and they should be able to trade their way into victory from this point forward. Harmon has been spotted, crossing the window room. Back over. Hayes waiting. Finds the first. Wait a second. 33 HP. Leviathan and Bang stacked together. They've lost track of them, and oh my goodness, Harmon nearly towards A. Defending Lockdown is going to be a bit of an interesting problem to deal with. Shock darts are trying to negate it, but it stays healthy through it. So the Viper's Pit has to be left. On the yep. back is Sabroza, and the timing, Hayes is going to clear the front. So now an opportunity to watch players come right back in, and Hayes, how sneaky is this? Finds himself a little piece of paradise, but... Actually doesn't fully see Screwface, who gets caught trying to jump. And that very well may, may be enough for TSM to get this full retake into play. Wardell going to scout out more through sewers. But Anderson and Kohler still able to find a couple of nations. And oh, another no. are deep. It's not going to come through. The Thrifty's going to give this up. Harmon now going into the Hunter's Fury Zone. Tags up ones. Not going to find too much. Anderson watching the flank. Able to catch out Wardell. Bomb going to be planted very quickly by Ant. Still have a lot of utility from Kohler to use, including the Trailblazer, which will make sure that the garage stays safe. Yeah, tough retake now for TSM being a player behind. Subrosa though getting one bang popping off as well. And man, the response from Subrosa and company has been swift. It's left Anderson and Harmon alone in the two on two. <laughs> Big kill from Anderson there though. He still has snake bites available, I think, or at least one left. One enemy remaining. Oh my goodness, the predictive shots from Hayes. Uh, no more darts needed though for Blade's going to be used here for Wardell. Another Viper's Pit, though, has been earned for Anderson as Dark Zero looks to aggress upon the sea site. Sabrosa holding close this time. Just trying to spam through the nebula. Not going to find too much. Tags up. Bang. Able to find one. It actually does down Screwface, but I don't know if Sabrosa's in a position to deny the regeneration. No, he's not. So now the Viper's Pit. Oh, Sabrosa still trying to hold on closely. Comes around the backside of the Viper's Pit, but not going to find anything as Dark Zero. Tally not just him, but also find Hayes. A quick plant coming through. Wardell figured out on the flank. And he's going to have to do something immaculate as Screwface is ready for him. And uh-oh. Wardell's already found one. Does get flashed. Has to tailwind away. Leviathan from the other side looking for clearance, but Anderson takes him completely unawares. And Wardell trusted with the pistol while he actually gets silenced for a moment here. He's going to be able to recover the knives. And with that, also an AR. But this would be a, a miraculous 1v3 with not a lot of time to make it happen. Yeah, I'm not fancying his chances here. This free ticket just looks so disjointed from TSM as they were spread out. Trying to attack multiple fronts and just didn't do it really together. I mean, Hooper Cole is everything. All the flash is brilliant, but actually doesn't get an angle to convert. Anderson is trying to peek this with them. Cole does salvage one. And on the way forward, though, the delayed peek from Ant finds two. Have the stall. Yeah. Well, they're going to have to trust that Hayes is going to find a lot of information off of this uh, sentry turret again. That's going to be what they use for first peek. There it is. Actually, a little bit of chip damage. This is decent damage, all things said. First blood, good for Sabrosa. Looking for more beyond that, but no, that's where there was no place of cover that was safe. Exactly. Ev everything was so well placed. More aggression from Dark Zero. They find the first blood. Hayes trying to keep the play alive, but that's not going to happen. And Sabrosa gets completely pushed out of B window. I mean, oh my goodness, this is, I think, initially. Harmon yeah. would have wanted, but he does at least connect at least some damage from the second. The problem here is Wardell is watching this draw. Opportunity for the first, but misses. Anderson just jumps across. Aljorn able to scout things out. There's the knife. That's going to be able to reveal and also, of course, silence behind that. Flash up top still could still be in play, and that seems to be the case. Screwface is holding on to this. There it comes. And the rest of DZ quick to follow. But Bang able to respond to the first, looking for the second. Not going to quite happen. Wardell up top. Enemy able to turn this into a 1v1 with Anderson, who's... Toggles onto the spike for a moment. Wardell has to check. Dashes away, but Anderson tracks him through the nebula. Too hamstrung on that. But if this doesn't work, they're in a lot of trouble as far as the economy goes. Definitely feels like a must win. Seeker's going to be called in. In the middle of the map, that will clear out Garage and also gain some space for his to work through up front. Wardell, though, not going to catch the first set of nine. Anderson's still a part of this play. Tries to avoid the recon dart by getting into his own poison pop. Still no kills to speak of as he got. Kohler will change that. I mean, Angela find an even exchange with Sabrosa, who eventually gets traded in the pinstripe. Kill feed continues. 
resulting us in a TSM 2v1. It's just Leviathan left. Yeah, no spike control though either in time running low. He's trying to get his way back into sight here, but I mean, it's gonna be so tough. Now, you know, just get silenced and three take. And they're already a player ahead. No reason not to know what the alt like. on screen. Yeah, takes. exactly. I mean, they have so much to retake with, man. And their retakes have been so fresh so far. Nowhere to run! No comes out, but oh, wait a second here. The Alpha doesn't really see all that much. Leviathan, able to get a couple of the Hunter Fury shots off, does tag up, maybe a little bit of damage on the Kohler there. Without getting pushed out, Sabrosa able to knock down Screwface, but Anderson actually gets the confirmed kill. Gravity well in play, Dark Zero all over the site. Someone has to peek this eventually. I mean, these star placements are fine for now, but you have to eventually make use of it in bank cause! Finds three and then the up close and personal scope for Mordell. Screw face in a 1v3, not gonna find. Still a huge advantage, 12 six up. Oh, yeah. 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 Something. And well, it's not a bad first start. Kohler had a really decent angle. Could not quite lock down the shots with the sheriff and was looking to attempt to help it. Oh boy. With the marshal. Puts a down bang. where he stood. Yeah, I mean, that's an incredible first kill. Keeps us at a 4v4. So Rosa getting some nice control here of Garage Area. Lockdown also coming in here for TSM to get really firm control of that Seaside to get that spike planted. So Rosa what? gets caught through the wall, and this is making things interesting. All of a sudden on this retake, Drone comes out, putting pressure on Wardell. He does avoid getting tagged by the dart. Another flash is able to kind of keep Wardell uncomfortable on the angle. Here comes Anderson from the corner. Nobody's watching him. He finds one for free. Also denies any extra information. Leviathan and Hayes have to try to hold on at long. There's the last shot guard to go through. Hayes able to find one. Does the spike get to halfway? It may not even matter. Anderson 1v2. And good luck. It did not get to half. He's going to try to stick this. Does what? he have enough smoke integrity okay. almost? But the defensive nebula that got played. Maybe just any question of what was happening. The gravity well never gets actually into play there. You see the snake bite trying to be in combination of it. It's not going to happen. So now Hayes will get to work setting up camp. And for Dart Zero, uh, they actually do catch Bang on the rotation. Just a late play through. But Wardell does almost the exact same thing versus Screwface. But is that fragment going to be good enough for a kill? Almost. The bros are low. And Wardell, who just goes into the knives almost immediately on reaction. Right now, I'm trying to save the round. Zabrosa flashing forward, but no! The spike gets the halfway defuse! Hayes has to try to respond to this with Leviathan and the shot start! See where exactly the spike is going to rotate. Even the spam shots for Leviathan are yeah. decent, but Anderson is still a part of this and could still sneak through it. This is a really good response from TSM. They absorb the pressure no. at middle lights and they found the opening at Seaside, but Anderson comes in, gets a kill, trying to linger out as best he can, but the lockdown comes into play. TSM starts finding their kills into the site, and they have to get out of here, and TSM catches them trying to run away from the lockdown. Really good job there from Hayes. He'll get the spike down in this two-on-two, but guess what's still up for Screwface? Yep. I mean, it just comes down to, does he even want to use it in the first place? This would be a difficult decision. So bros on the flank. Oh my goodness, he nearly whipped the shot. Screwface had a chance at it. Armin also throwing the Sheriff shot in just in case. Not going to happen though. So Broza changes the angle, comes through. Four is going to be full purchase for both squads. Hold on to your horses here, friends. Such big playmaking from Sub Rosa. He made that rotation in the garage so quick and caught Dark Zero. And there still is that Null Command available for Screwface. And still two Cosmic Divides for each of our Astra players. Wardell holding the initial point of contact. Guiding Light comes out. Wardell gives up the angle, but immediately comes back to it. Misses the first shot. Aldrin also in the mix. That will start to push the defense forward. But DSM, ah, oh, they've been actually able to deny the Null very quickly. Hazed over the top of the corner. Gonna be trying to challenge. DZ would love to be able to get this back. Kohler's on the defuse. Oh, does he get it to halfway? Might not even matter. DZ find the next two eliminations. DSM just down to Sabrosa and bang. Other side of the cosmic divide and Anderson only close. He gets flashed though. But it's still gonna be enough. Sabrosa by himself cannot get it done. Halfway defused. It should be enough. Times and on the other front for DZ. Typically walk away right at the five mark is what they were able to secure defensively. So we'll see if they can kind of match those expectations here once again. Drag will go out and against the bros is going to try to find a bit of a corner. And play a little bit of oh, he just does. With it, but he does. And now I'm a little bit worried that he might get caught. And indeed he does. Wardell will find the frag. He'll be able to heal himself. And now they can take an A site. Now Ainge is nearby. But what can he do to stop this? The answer looks like he's not going to do too much, at least not initially. He's looking to see if anyone will push him into his dark cover, and actually he will reveal his position. Screwface trying to take that as an opportunity to move on through. Flash comes out simultaneously with the knife. One player will be suppressed completely, but 
That's a player that has already backed away from the site. So the players that are still existing here to hold on to the spike for TSM, very much so still very fine and dandy. Ange, though, able to come around the corner, finds one, but now everything do, does rest on the shoulders of Ange. And a 1v3 tries to walk forward, and as he does, Wardell just there from the knife. Paranoia does make its way forward. Harmon only able to find one. Leviathan good trade. And on the site completely by themselves, but that'll be fine. Finds the first and the second. How about a third? Oh Absolutely. And Dark Zero. Start laying into a main links of that Leer. But Kohler over the top, able to collect them before they get in. Anderson's still already on site, and two have already rotated up top. Yeah, this is going to be a really difficult spot for TSM. Time can be a problem. Ten seconds on the clock. You have to stick for a plant. So Rosa trying to cover. Does find a couple. And how about a third? But the spike actually does get dropped for a moment. Bang will recover and still plant just in the nick of time. So now 2v3 situation. Dark Zero need to find a way to retake. And they've snuck right past the Aldrin, at least initially. So Rosa finds their fourth elimination. And bang, clean. are going to be called out here. That's Leviathan. Oh, he actually does find... Not just one, but gains entrance for Sabrosa to work on in. Seeker's going to be called to try to retaliate, but Sabrosa has sucked down in towards Hell Kohler will, of course, read this, finds the kill, and that is a decent recovery. But more importantly, at least for DZ, they're able to largely hold on to the site. Bang, I was going to say, is starting to influence that the other direction. He will find one, but Kohler still minimal trades required, if any. And it goes to show in... I know it's going to feel like for most out there, all the experts that are going to be like, yeah, I mean, this is going to be pretty stock, but I mean, just the value from Screwface, getting that opening knife to read that. There's only one player here. Dives through the statement. But Ange, oh, we're down over the top. Uses the wall, finds an angle. It's the first blood. Sabrosa finds a second beyond that. That clips some clearance over towards Tree. Enough to actually get the spike planted, plus also put some pressure with Leviathan Zodin over towards Heaven. Retake now for Dark Zero. Not really a lot of tools to play with. I mean, you got a Hunter's Fury, but it's going to go in pretty blindly, and you have to hope that there's going to be quick follow-up. Wardell up top misses a shot into Anderson, but there is no full punish. Now Kohler trying to make their way through, but that's completely denied as there are multiple TSM members playing Gatekeeper right here for the Dark Cover. Just up to Harmon. Not bad for two. And is able to grab the Operator and likely just survive and get away with it. This off the clock. Here comes the play forward. Spike is still not here. 16 seconds. Kohler for one. Ange just second. How about the third? And the spike's not going to be able to get here whatsoever. The delay left. is just too lengthy for TSM. And they even had to flank from Kohler through the B link into middle. All but the recon dart allows them forward. How, how did you let Hayes get two? A little bit of miscommunication between Anderson and Harmon of who's going to deal with the recon. Bolt Screwface forced to find a kill, and he provides. Noel has been earned for him. Leviathan going to toss a shot guard up top, and Wardell just watching the angle the entire time will not miss that. So now 4v2 situation, and Dark Zero, after an initial brilliant read on the play for Kohler, so honestly, if you feel like you're being trapped up by the, the Hunter's Fury, this is a good way to kind of keep your life. And oh. there will be recovery here. And plus the shots from Ain. Yes, they're certainly trying to make the best play that they can. Bang trying to pressure back. Also for Lear. No one playing straight out. It's probably not going to lead to a victory. Has to take a risk, but it gets caught. Wow. And now that's going to be like they definitely played their cards right. Because the match is already in a half. And trying to fight out in middle here. And it's just blow for blow to kick things off. Feels almost. So Rosa gets here, but he's so low on health. Course. Yeah, he got dinked on the way forward. Bot is able to send one in response. Shock Dart actually sidestepped by Wardell. Still at 77 health. Anderson and Harmon trying to still work their way in collectively. Wardell in the corner does not find the first. So now it is just down to the Leviathan. Shock Dart, well placed. Anderson will fall. That is not the spike planted either. So now Harmon has to collect and consider if he wants to even go for the play. Leviathan close to a recon dart if he wants it. But instead he's going to take the wide peak and finds Harmon. Towards the A site, but Sabrosa so has shallow. stuck around the back side of this. That's what I was about to say. There is still a lot of space here that TSM can work with. Flash will come through. Sabrosa still alive. Nobody checks him to the right. But granted, Kohler Anderson able to find a couple of kills. Hayes keeps things interesting by finding one in response. And then Wardell gets to work with Bang. Oh no, it's all gone wrong for Dark Zero. Yeah, that I feel like that needed to be at least a bit deeper to at least get you to the generator. But look at this, Screwface oh, no. able to get the flank through heaven, gets a, a full B main and over through main. Harmon in trouble. Not gonna get any help here though. Bang able to find the kill, recovers all of the health. Screwface up top. Needs to be clean here. Bang has seen him. But the frag comes on in. That's gonna push them off the spike for now. Also has a flash to use. Tries to go over the top of it. Don't know if it fully actually connected. Finds Wardell though in the corner. Oh, and Screwface! The and the nano swarm behind it also putting a little bit of a punch into the play. 
There is the regrowth that they needed, but oh. Amon Anderson just sneaks into market, finds two. Snake Bite will deny any rotation, plus also, you do have the Hawk to come on in, and the Snake Bite does confirm the kill. I don't think Leviathan ever knew it was down. And there's so many different forms of that. smoke there. Anderson for another. Looking for the ace, not going to happen. Oh my Bang, goodness. able to at least respond, but that'll be all he gets. And from behind, but I don't know if you saw the snake bite down. This could go catastrophically wrong. The first shot for Bang is good. Wall goes up. DZ are not committing to getting onto the site. They want to try to fight through the alleyway. No! A dicey place to fight, and that's why Hayes finds another. Ape's oh. not able to find anything. And TSM sneaky play through the middle has panned out to a 5v2. Oh my goodness. Down will free up some space. Kohler, though, still finds one elimination. He'll be able to play up top in towards heaven. Anderson low. One enemy remaining. Gonna try to get pushed out, and Bang's gonna find this kill, no problem. He's setting up for their initial take, and they just got kind of lost on what was in front and what was obviously most importantly behind. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Now Dark Zero in a really interesting spot. I mean, a must-win round coming out here. The Seekers will assist to take down Mordell for the first blood. The Bros' position will also be mostly compromised. Paranoia to keep his life a little while longer, but Polar from the side finds their second, and Dark Zero are on the site. Yeah, really good A split pressure here from Dark Zero. Really putting that pressure on Shree, catching Wardell, coming in through main, taking down Sub Rosa in the site. Sub Rosa certainly gave it a good effort. How he was moving. Uh, the operators in play, but they're old. They've also got Bang forward. Okay, so TSM able to step. Take a little bit more difficult on TSM. Also got the Nebula to block out this entry to the doorway on the side and one more star up top. And the Aldron actually will read that, yeah, Leviathan is up here. Shock darts are going to be exchanged. Leviathan will find some information and catalyzes on it. Able to find Harmon, no problem. 4v2 situation, TSM still needing to find a way on it. But Anderson, slow start for him in the game. Could he be the hero that Dark Zero is going to need? Ainge is also playing from deep inside of A main. Time is becoming a bit of a problem. Some spam shots do connect to Anderson, but stays alive through it. Finds one elimination. Able to come through. Finds a second beyond that. Is the hero play still here? Well, Hayes will find the elimination. The time is off the clock. One more gravity well will be there. Nobody can get here to defuse. And the 2v4 is going to be good for Dark Zero. Yeah, Anderson again using that wall to once again get this aggro lurk. But Hayes being so smart. Just playing back, knowing his turret will spot Anderson's commitment, huh. and just plays under heaven and gets the frag. And now TSM pressing up middle. Harmon only good for one, so Rosa quick pull. Mike comes out, sure, but it's so much heat. Oh, that's a big catch on the Haze, however. No lockdown available anymore. Yep. Polar's still getting tagged. Resurrection will come into play. Ainge hoping that he can wall bang, but not quite able to. Polar's stuck in hell. Screwface has to find a shot. Sees the cape wiggle. Going to take a shot on the Leviathan. Not going to find a connection. When is this hit from TSM from the back going to come through? When is this hit from the back from TSM going to come through? They start, They need to make a play. The flashes are starting to come through. Here's the defensive lockdown. Time becoming a bit of an issue, though. Ainge is going to hold their ground. Someone has to step forward if you're TSM. There's not a lot of time here. And as they make their move, Wardell's going to find nothing. The reinforce like in the barrier box. Yeah, he, oh, he plays the crack and catches oh Anderson. Gosh. What a shot. And he finds a second as well. Wardell holding on for dear life here for TSM. Spots another oh through God. that exact same crack. No one really aware of it. And he's just not... ...finds Rosa on the third tag. 27 yes. seconds to play. Oh, look at the sneaky little transition. Some energy from Dark Zero sent over towards the middle of the map. Leaves just Leviathan. Can you hold this for another couple of seconds? Tries to hold their life. Unwraps the present, which is the owner, but can't get the ADS up in time. And now an opportunity for Harmon to plant, and he will do so successfully. Calder finds up Rosa right away, so this retake is being whittled down before it can even really begin. And there it is. DZ just doing such a great job this round of because they got the early pick and they're able to get A lobby control so early. I mean, they have all the time in the world to stall. And that means that and TSM, who were obviously just as good on offense as DZ were. Ooh. We're going to have an opportunity to start to establish that early, and they do lose Harmon. Kohler up top needs to at least find one, but TSM are just going to back away. They're not even going to fully commit with that elimination. No, and they still have presence over towards A lobby as well, and they're still keeping tabs on middle, so it's not like they're fully committed to this. They have perfect intel all across the map and the opening pick. 
They leave the turret behind and spots DZ's aggression B lobby. So Bang will stick around. Seeing a couple of players there. Kohler has to spend so much just to confirm whether they've left or not. Screw face though, this is a good move. And he's able to get away, that's massive. There's no chance for a trade. Everything gets boxed in over towards the main. Even the Shrouded Sephiroth of Rosa will give you that information saying, yeah, we don't feel comfortable on this cross. But Ainge is going to be completely paranoid in the back, trying to help themselves out by getting some star placements. The Nebula does get down. But can you actually hold this position while help is still arriving? The answer, no. Bang for three in the round. Could just go into the Empress if they want to, which why not? You would feel. Anderson up top. There it is. The Empress shuts down immediately. Anderson looking for more. Not going to find it as Wardell finds the trade. Just down to Screwface. It's going to have to be a 1v3 with the off. Make it now a 1v4 as the res is also earned. Just a bit high off the face. We'll find one. But, I mean, what do you do here? you got a wall in front of you. you got three TSM members on the other side. This is looking like this will be 13 for TSM. No problem. But, your face really gives them... Stick at B. Still having presence all across the rest of the map. So they had all their bases covered. They knew they weren't getting flanked. They knew that there was no mid-push going on. Yes, yeah, Griffith. Hold the same spot that you were mentioning. Wardell also affected, but he's, is he is he affected? Finds two. Sabrosa more. Holds down the trigger, but Anderson and Ainge able to keep things alive. Now it's just down to one. Not we thought about it, but the effect of the actual tag <laughs> itself had faded, and that will be enough for him to back away as they get the plant down. Yeah, it's kind of your classic dueling viper walls and barrier to get this spike down. TSM trying to start sweeping through off the back of their Whoa. own viper wall towards the yellow position, but Color will actually hold on to it, but not for long. Shot Dart comes in for the trade. And now we're starting to see TSM really gain ground, bang with the follow-up there, leaving Ainge all by his lonesome, not for long. TSM, powerful retake there, getting a lot of use out of their utility, timing it out. Full buy, they were very successful. They won 12 out of 19 full purchase rounds that they had Ooh. yesterday versus the Knights. This is a pretty quick flank here from TSM. They have a pretty good reason situation, but Wardell does get picked off before he can get an op shot off. That's a huge entry from Anderson. <laughs> So now Anderson will help throw the utility forward, try to clear up a bit of space for their teammates to start making their way in. But again, that flank like you mentioned for TSM is coming pretty rapidly. So it's getting down to is this red, and yet Anderson has at least seen one. Has he also scouted out Sabrosa? Sure seems to, and well now he'll for sure know and Sabrosa does tally the exchange. But this is gonna be a very difficult retake for TSM, working from multiple angles. They have collected the operator that was previously dropped by Wardell. You have to feel like outside of maybe trying to find a kill with this and it's going to be just a back away and save for Leviathan, even more so now that he's lost a teammate. Yeah, this big impact this round from Anderson. Not only did he get the opening pick onto Wardell, who was kind of meant to get a pick, fall back, give them a quick 5 on 4, allow that flank at long B to settle in and not feel as pressured to have to make a play fast. But then he also caught the flank very quickly, gets a kill, and gets the detection on the other player. So nope, not going to be able to stay there. Tried to can't hide. stay here. You, oh! you have to go home, but you can't stay here. <laughs> Later. Jeez. That's tough. You could tell he was trying to hide from that drone. Not quite. Wardell oh, will get the wall bang. Holler now popping the null command, trying to use that to start yeah. clearing away into this B site. Perhaps they're going to try to go for the plant. Haze challenges and takes Holler oh. out. No real chance to res him either. He's being watched by no. Bang up top. And also the snake fight that's a part of that thing just lets loose on the trigger, finishes it off. Wardell back into the mix, finds Harmon, who initially had found one trade, but that's not going to be enough. Again, another flank coming from behind, even not required, but TSM are quick to swarm, aren't they? That would be really nicely to deny the nullify command. Anything ace out the trailblazer, now you're seeing Sabrosa having to kind of keep tabs on middle. That's going to leave Wardell a little bit solo here on site, but he's able to get his op, nope. able to ring out, but they're instant res, and then he gets oh! caught by Screwface. What a shot! A little bit of slight hand. Hey, look over here, why don't you? Now all of a sudden, you've got an opportunity to get the Viper Spit down into play. 5v4 situation starts to unfold. Spike is making its way on, but similarly so, the defense is also trying to reinforce. Sabrosa, flash up close and personal, able to find one, but immediately you're spotted to you by Aim. Spike will be planted, just to take a time. Anderson, good for a double. And it's all down to Hayes, can't go anywhere, screw He's going to move over towards, but Wardell does not have an angle, at least not initially. But now here comes Sabrosa's flank, Kohler, ready oh. for it, finds the quick headshot, and now we go 4v3 the other direction. Ainge able to take down Hayes, who only had a pistol. And things looking so much more positive for Dark Zero, only dropping Harmon off of the cheeky people from Wardell early.
Yeah, it's looking fantastic. They have great post plant positioning here. Wardell and Leviathan trying to keep forcing the issue here. Good recon bolt comes in, but again, blocked off by Viper Squall. And they just cannot find really any true forward progress. They now have to back off and save. And again, it really comes down to screw base's positioning. While Wardell hit a brilliant boosted shot at middle, Got us even an early advantage and got to Rosa deep down mid for some good map control and intel. Screwface kind of slipped through the cracks, gets a huge kill on. It's a bank. Been over, but ooh. Saw Wardell, was not interested in the battle, but decides to go to it anyways. I don't know if the knives are pulled Big for that kid. or not. I have to imagine they probably were. Screwface will be brought back to life. Hunter's Fury, though, coming through. Being able to find one, meanwhile, just kind of keeping the middle of the map honest and safe, but it's not going to stop Kohler from planting. Wardell looking for an exit. Will be slowed up. Sabrosa working with some high ground, able to find one. Kohler has been taken down with an Olafi. Angel still holding on, just in the middle of the slow orb, finds at least one response, but is not going to be able to get away. The so number is still good here for TSM. They just have to deal with Screwface as Kohler is still just inactive and <laughs> fading fast. And eventually does get deleted. Screwface trying to save. I mean, so by themselves, have to use the speakers you feel like and will. It's going to be required just to find some information. And Sabrosa actually tries to use that to peek, but Kohler shuts things down. Now 5v4. A couple of members have been tagged up, but again, you just have to clear so much space here for TSM. Screwface misses the first opening shot. Wardell responds of one of his own. Ainge trying to get around the back, but denied! Now all of a sudden, you got the resurrection coming into play. TSM's back to full numbers. There is not a single kill to speak of for Dark Zero. It all rests on the shoulder of Harmon. The shock darts connect, but not for enough damage. And Wardell puts it. We'll go up. Recon darts will come out. Staying up top. Will be silent. That'll be it though. First shot. I'm not gonna fully connect for Screwface. Bang stays alive. I think for him, he probably saw his life flash before his eyes. Now the actual exchange for the site itself. Spike has not made its way to actually get planted as of yet for Ains. This wall's blocking them at the moment. And Leviathan is in a position where he could just spam through this because there's a gap in the wall here. He's in a really safe spot. He could just clutch this up from this position specifically, and not even to mention the Wardell's already guarding the flank from the rotation. No, you're absolutely right. I mean, they're in such a tough spot. And now Leviathan, they're able to get his wall spam thanks to that recon bolt. So he gets his team at least into a two on three, at least. They have no he, stay, he can stay cute with this for as long as he wants. The question is, does he check left? I sees the Whoa. barrel now. No problem. Now dashes through. Sees the information on the last. Quick to follow up is going to be Sabrosa. We're down. Just throwing shoulders. Here comes Sabrosa from the opposite angle. And that will be good enough. Oh, my. He actually yeah. here. Not bad at all. Especially with these opening knives getting into play. It does confirm enough damage to allow Kohler to find first blood. Space to be taken here if you're Dark Zero. But Bang has been so good from this position. Not going to have the benefit of any utilities. He surprised oh. the spam shots on the Anderson. Wonderful. Sabrosa up top. Not going to be able to deny the plant. So there is still an opportunity here to 4v4. To still work not just with numbers, but also beyond that ultimate. So I was about to say the resurrection still could come through. Bang going to spam exactly where Anderson had previously course. fell. And he will die again. But that could potentially just be time off the clock. Recon Dirk going to find a bit of information as well here as TSM start to make their approach forward. Brad comes out, but Wardell punishes. It's not going to really result in too much of anything. Wardell going to see more information beyond this. Screwface up top with the knives. Not going to find anything. Now spamming through the cloud burst. Able to find one and trade. 2v3 situation favoring TSM, who are trying to stick. But it's going to be the Hunter's Fury coming through. Screwface able to find one more. Harmon, can you find anything beyond this? Not going to make a difference. Wardell with the knife. Is there time? Not going to matter. Harmon able to stick. Got some brisket crackers on hand. I'm ready to go, brother. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. First Actually, I guess you can't. Browser? I guess mathematically it couldn't just be 40 rounds, right? That's true. Well, no, I don't want it to be. Right? Forget it. No, it doesn't matter. It Not doesn't matter. Not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Dark Zero with the least respawn with one in kind, but the aggression from TSM as they decided which spike site to go to does allow them a 4v3 as they get over towards the B site. Still have the toxic screen to use if they want. Screw face, hoping for some spam shots. Long range. Not quite. Has a tailwind away, but Kohler is here to try to assist their mid-map, and how about it? They've actually forced TSM back, but is, have they forced TSM back, or is TSM happy to rotate back? That could just be determined. Here we go. Oh, they are able to cross back with the spike. Look at the deep oh. positioning that Lalithan has as well. I mean, this is, this is done, though. So. Yeah. I mean, DZ are going to have absolutely no idea. And I think actually the Leviathan did just see the barrel in TSM. 30 seconds left. I mean, Mary go round up around here. Oh, you need to go through, but just picking away is All the right. fuck. Seekers also using the help get some space here. They're really putting the pressure on A site. Holy crap. 
for it. Four finds one, that's not bad, but oh man, Bang is just so far forward so quickly. And after he throws up those initial slow orbs, he's right on top of them almost. Even able to get him a couple of hundred years ago. But these, uh. Okay, well, you just put it in their face and it works still. The technology will still allow you to get headshots. <laughs> and then the flash beyond that, nearly an opportunity, but Bang and Hayes will collect the site. So a decent opening. A little bit of damage to be shared, but TSM, they get what they came for. And now for Dark Zero, the retake is required at this point. I, you have to give this some sort of a go, you feel like. But TSM have already backed away. They've already put up their post plant at a safe location where Riddell can just watch over the top of the spike. And Hayes still has two sync lights left, so I mean... Yeah. Oh, okay. Never mind, that's gone. That's one off. Oh my no goodness, way. what's happened here? Anderson for three. Slow orb comes down. Marshals are still in play. Oh, the foot tag comes through, but Angel's just going to hold this. Tries to deny it. Oh! it. Stops the diffuse from coming through. Anderson will not be denied, though. Unreal. Absolutely. This one, you think everything's going your way. Yeah. Get Marshall in the face and then lose the round. Yeah. Now, Screwface takes an opening angle aggressively, but this is actually going to separate the defense pretty largely. The Screwface and Andrew are going to have to do something else. Incredible, but Harmon up top able to find one. That opens up a little bit of space to work with. Kohler from the middle of the map also throwing some pressure from the mid two. Long range shots against Leviathan. Not going to quite connect. Sabrosa does clear out Kohler mid map. And now late rotating, and maybe a little bit too late, as Andrew said, he's going to try to go mid map again. And TSM's post plan is actually right in front of Snowman here. And woof. This is a really tough spot to try to fight up against. It's a lot of bunkering, but Ainge may have just slipped around the back. Finds the kill. Full Barrier Orb can come through. Can try to stick this. Sabrosa will shrug them off and Wall finds the third end. Golly. Over towards the fence of spawn here. And this makes things even crazier now. Now, he needs to be careful not to hang around for too long, but... Yeah, that's the problem. Screwface is sweeping behind there. Grab the kill. Now, all of a sudden, Sabrosa's positioning has been exposed. And now, it gets... You know, a little bit of a lifeline here for DZ. Skull 3 take with far inferior weaponry. Bane playing up front. Knives coming through. Screw picks up to get the reset. Harmon finds one more beyond this. Hunter Fury is going to come out. They got to find Leviathan. He's all the way in the back. He's going to be forced to put this away. Wardell though for two. Now it's just down to Leviathan. Ains trying to stick in. Yes, we'll be able to. Thrifty can... Fury has gone so far. Yeah. If, if the nuts were candies and nuts, we'd all have to very many. <laughs> heard that one? <laughs> I have heard that. That's a good one. I'm a boomer, I know. That's, <laughs> That's vintage shit. right there is what that yeah, is. <laughs> Anderson through the poison cloud. Wants to hold this, but denied. Ain't able to help out. There is at least initial trade, but still numbers prevailing for TSM, at least for now. Hunter Fury coming up defensively from Harmon. Wardell taking over some space, but oh, actually the Hunter's Fury effect may have just blinded him a little bit. Couldn't quite lock down the final shot. The resurrection comes through, though. And TSM now in a 5v3. They're finally able to get the spike planted. But Harmon up top has snuck around the back. And maybe there's a chance for him to sneak into this Viper set beyond that and actually deter this TSM post plan. It's just so difficult to figure he will in a 3v5. Yeah, it's not looking good. Oh. That certainly helps for TSM. It's a free kill there for Wardell. Thanks to Ainge being tagged by the recon. Harmon teeing up a little bit for a couple of kills, but taking a lot of damage along the way and didn't really get any progress onto site from those frags and has to back off as, of course, the Viper Spit is still fully uh, fully going. He just wants He's the challenge. For exits. Yeah, he doesn't want to allow this hit these weapons. Big kill there on the Harmon. And so the back and forth affair continues. Towards A a little bit more heavily, but regardless, TSM are getting a bit of cold feet. This side, all right. We felt that this A is set enough. Let's see what's happening on the other side of the map. Uh, Hayes trying to keep tabs on middle here. The rest of the team looking to come up long B. The Commvault out clearing up yellow. Seekers come out now as well to start pressing the issue over towards the site containers. Bang looking to put the barrier down here at some point, you'd imagine. Oh, Hayes, Hayes finds a perfect timing at middle to add things. And oh, Hayes with a flick on the screw face. One enemy remaining. Leviathan tallies down Anderson, who was the only one responding. Right, what a play it's from Hayes, man. Match point for TSM. So it's gone like this, man? I, I mean, imagine. if they... Oh, they do look at it. Hayes gets the kill, though. That's a huge frag to get, and he knows that there's probably more. And so he's waiting for that. Spots both of them. Does get taken down, but at least can relay the information as the spike goes down on the site.
but the resurrection's also in play here. So, oh, all of a sudden, DZ, 5v3. The spike does get planted. Yes, the slow orbs will deny, sure. But how do you hold in this 5v3 with so much utility still to spend here for Dark Zero? Aldrone largely denied. Here comes the knife on out. Leviathan still able to get a little bit of utility off before it comes through. They do get the recon bolt to find some information. Wardell's watching over the top of all of this. Bang is going to be the first point of contact. Leviathan quick to follow up if required. Finds the first. Gonna get the second and the third! Oh my! One more up top! Kohler keeps things interesting! 2v1 situation! Wardell at range! Misses the second shot! Has to reset! Screwface going for the defusal! Halfway done! And Kohler saves the day for Dark Zero or does he? No, Can he, he doesn't. get there in time! It's gonna be close! No!